many medals. I didn't think a year ago I'd have seven medals so far and I've still got another three to go this year, maybe even more. Hello and welcome to another video. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, click the like button and uh, enjoy the video. Yes, so you'll have seen the other video about coming my birthday holiday ending in disaster. I, I you couldn't you couldn't even write it, could you, for weather? And then I come back um, home, I get back at eleven o'clock at night, knackered, and then I find out that uh, my our mattress is fucked. It rained for three days straight. Chucked it down when it wasn't supposed to. Um, so we got the uh, the roofer back. He ended up working for basically nothing, apparently, because he had to pay for a new mattress, a plasterer, and we have had the roof done now. Um, this roof up here isn't being done, just the ridge tiles are being done. Um, we've had the new uh, roof lines done as well, so we had to extend the slates there to come out. Um, the roof up there, I don't know, I can't see really. I'll show you when I go upstairs. Um, he's had to move the um, TV um, aerial down to the uh, guttering there because I can't put them around the um, chimney anymore because it can, as it as the wind shakes, it, it makes the chimney loose and fucks it up, and then you've got to get it repointed. So they put it onto the uh, onto the board there, or just underneath the uh, guttering. Um, and he's basically, basically finished it now. He's just got to do the um, the uh, ridge tiles up there, but that was once the scaffolding's gone. We're, and now, what's happening is we've got a renderer to come along, and uh, and effectively, so this isn't the final colour. Obviously, we've got the renderer to come and do all these bits, uh, as you've just seen. Then to do uh, all this right here. He's not having this done, but we're having, we've got all that rendered, all this rendered. This is always the plan. We were wanted originally to, to bring the bricks back to how the neighbours is, all nice and clean. But whoever did was lived here before us painted it with not great paint. It all flaked up. The house couldn't breathe, so we he had, he, so he scraped it all off, and it worked out better to render it. Um, this is how it was beforehand. That's how it the floor. That was how it was beforehand, as you can see, a bit fucked up. They just the people who lived here in the, in the past didn't look after the house, um, so we're basically trying to make it look nice nowadays. On when you when you plaster it, it goes on dark like that, and then it, when it dries, it turns into that. But that isn't the final colour. It's going to be an off white, so it's going to be another colour there, another layer. And then we're considering. I was cleaning. I cleaned this soil pipe the other day, but I'm not really happy about it. I'm thinking like replace it and make it all white because I think white on white looks a lot better. And they're going to be rendering it over that anyway, so it's going to white on white just look a lot more better, a lot more presentable. I think um, what he's done to the roof it does, does look really good. What he's done, uh, but at the minute. The render is doing his job and it looks just amazing. It's like a new look at different house. I've had to close that hole up there uh, because I, beat, I did a 100mm hole, a you know, quarter of the 100mm, and you could hear everything overnight. All the traffic, it was just awful, you couldn't sleep. Yeah, I put a lot of insulation in it, so it makes the hole more 35mm as opposed to 100mm. So hopefully that will stop so much air getting in, so much noise passing through, I hope. Fingers crossed. I'll take you upstairs now to show you the. Um, the loft and uh, what it, what is done with the roof. Um, so let's go. So I'll tell you in a minute. A few moments later. It's, I got this paint as well. It was basically supposed to sort out the roof. It's kind of has sorted out to a point. You can still see a little bit of. Um, it's supposed to be stain blocker. I've done six coats, and as you can see, it's still slightly stained. So, so basically, a stain blocker doesn't work. It's, it's a gimmick. So. Basically, just don't even trust it. Don't even bother. If you ever get a stain blocker, absolutely got a lot of rubbish. What a lot of rubbish. The renderer is a plaster as well, and he, he plastered and put a new ceiling up. 
I'd take the exercising rolls down, take that down, I put it back up and I put that back up. I put the um, where to go up there, make sure the insulation above there was all sorted, it is. This is our master bedroom, we can't use it currently because we just can't use it. I'm not putting a brand new mattress on horrible floors. We need to do a bit of more stuff in here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with these things, um, obviously. All my uh, medals now never give up. Uh, all my running medals. I didn't think a year ago I'd have seven medals so far and I've still got another three to go this year, maybe even more. So that's what I've been doing for my mindset and everything like that. A few moments later. And obviously now, the um the roof is done as you saw you can see flashing all the way around we've got new pots up there it's all done all the new channeling's done we've got the looks lovely doesn't it looks really good we've uh it's uh, and it isn't a brand new roof we've had the roof re we had the roof re-slated basically we just we kept the slates um and we basically um had the red slates taken off and stuck and, and uh, kept, and then we had um, new uh, felt, new wood. This, this is supposed to be the breathable felt, but it's water, supposed to be waterproof as well. It wasn't waterproof, so it's not. A, it's breathable, um, slightly waterproof. Um, you put new um, wood down and put the original slates back, adding to more slates because they had to extend all the roof lines by a few inches, like you're supposed to apparently. So then the roots, so when the rain comes off, it basically, basically, effectively, the rain goes to then it goes straight off the house as opposed to go down, going down the house and destroy the brickwork. So he's had to do that and put new um, roof line, aren't roof lines on it and everything like that. I'm very happy with it. Um, effectively, the because um, this is what the blocker hasn't done its job. Like I can see it hasn't blocked it, so I'm going to put some more paint up here, which is very annoying because like, this room was all painted and lovely. And the roof has cost us uh, just under six grand with everything, um, and the um, rad we've paid fifteen hundred pound for the scaffolding for however long it takes to be done, about a month or so to be sorted, and then it's costing us seven and a half thousand for the whole all the rendering. That's everything. So you're talking, call it nine grand for scaffolding and rendering and six grand. So that's 15 grand in total to render and re-roof and scaffold your house. Which to be fair, that's good because my friend had his his roof and his house redone, all guttering and everything like that and it cost him 10,000. And that was the stuff without any um, any uh, filler. It's just the ones that the tongue groove, they slot together all the stuff. So to be fair, 15 grand for everything is really good. Uh, when it's all done this house, I'm going to do probably a 20 minute to half an hour video of all the videos I've done so far, um, basically to show um, a start to finish of doing the house. So I've done about four, five, maybe six or seven videos about updates about the house of the process so far. If you'd like to go to my, um, my channel and watch those updates from, from how it first looked to how it looks now and how it was gonna look down the line when I finish it. I will do another video, uh, like I said, to show the start to finish. It has taken two years so far to do this because it is what it is. You gotta wait, the weather's been shit, you've gotta wait for trades. You're gonna do so much yourself. So like I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below. Um, like the video, check me other videos out. Um, and just comment what you think if you like what the school for what's happened so far and uh this video is a positive of what of the negative of last time so things that we what what doesn't kill you can only make you stronger setbacks uh, you learn from setbacks to, to embrace the what happens later on so thanks again and i'll see you all soon bye bye